This is Al Walner. Today's segment is finding the equation of a parabola passing through three points. We wish to find the equation of a parabola passing through the following three points, negative 1, 7, 1, 15, and negative 2, 9. That is, we want a parabola such that there are three points on it, where x equals negative 1 and y equals 7, x equals 1 and y equals 15, and x equals negative 2 and y equals 9. We call the quadratic form of the equation of a parabola y equal ax squared plus bx plus c, and it's our job to find the values of a, b, and c such that that parabola will go through these three points. Since it goes through those three points and satisfies the condition y equal ax squared plus bx plus c, the following must be true. When x equals negative 1, y equals 7. In other words, 7 equals a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. We are substituting the values negative 1 for x and 7 for y. Looking at the other two points, when x equals 1, y equals 15 gives us this equation. And finally, when x equals negative 2, y equals 9 gives us this equation. If we simplify these equations, we get 7 equals a minus b plus c. 15 equals a plus b plus c. And simplifying this last equation, 9 equals 4a minus 2b plus c. Since we have three equations and three unknowns, we should be able to solve using any one of a number of algebraic methods. However, in this lesson, we're going to use matrices. The equations 7 equal a minus b plus c, 15 equal a plus b plus c, and 9 equal 4a minus 2b plus c can be represented by the matrix equation ax equals b if a is the, co the coefficient matrix, x is the variable matrix, and b is the constant matrix. Notice these elements in the A matrix are the coefficients in the equation. 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, negative 2, 1. The X matrix are, is our variables, A, B, and C. And the B matrix is the column matrix of the constants, 7, 15, and 9. If AX equals B, then the solution is found as X equal A inverse B. And we will perform this operation using our calculator. First, we create our A matrix in our calculator. So we go to the matrix menu. And we're going to create a 3x3 three three matrix labeled A. So we will edit matrix A. And it's going to be 3x3. Three three, and the elements are 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, and 4, negative 2, and 1. Notice when you use negatives, you use this negative symbol. This symbol here is for subtracting one number from another. To signify a negative number, you use this key right here. All right, now we've created matrix A in our calculator. We now want to create matrix B. So we go back to the matrix menu and we edit matrix B. And matrix B is going to be a three row by one column matrix. So it's three by one. And the elements are 7, 15, and 9. And now we've created our B matrix. Now that we've done that, we perform the operation A inverse B. So we go to a clear screen and we call up the matrix menu and we bring up the name matrix A by hitting enter. We add the inverse symbol right there. And then we go to matrix again and bring up the name of matrix B. And then we hit enter. And that gives us 2, 4, 9. 
So the solution to the set of equations is a equal to b equal 4 and c equal 9. Therefore, our parabola is y equal 2x squared plus 4x plus 9. Let's see if we have it right by plotting the three points as well as the quadratic function. Here we have a math table in notebook. I'm going to select the table and under math actions I'm going to select generate graph. And let's add the, co the ordered pairs and let's look at that. And we can see those are the three points negative 1 comma 7, 1 comma 15, and negative 2 comma 9. And it appears that a parabola could go through them. Here is 2x squared plus 4x plus 9, and I'm just going to grab this handle and bring it into the graph, and we can see that, in fact, that is the parabola that goes through those three points. This is Al Walmer, and I'll see you next time.